How's it going guys? It is the Meat Sandwich and today I'll be reacting to the Nintendo Direct of September 4, 2019. So I'm excited for this, honestly, because so this Nintendo Direct will be 40 minute 40 minutes and it'll be mainly focusing on Pokemon Sword and Shield and Luigi's Mansion 3. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we got those games on the on this Nintendo Direct, so so anyway, like I said, it's 40 minutes. Oh. Okay, calm down. So I am expecting a few stuff. So before I get into this, uh, before I tell you my predictions, I'll just say that the, um, I know the lighting's bad. And I'm sorry for that. And also be, um, that um, that I would have this live, but I can't go live anymore. So I'll just release a video of me reacting to it. it starts in two minutes, so I'm excited. Two minutes. Okay, so, so I am predicting a few things like some Banjo gameplay, obviously Luigi's Mansion 3, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Besides that, um, I'm expecting some Banjo gameplay and release date, uh, the fourth Smash Bros. Fires Pass DLC, the fourth one, um, I need to reset again because we all, um, there is, they, like Nintendo themselves, they accidentally lead to the fourth DLC character will be, which is an SNK character, so I wouldn't be surprised if, if an SNK character will be the next character. Um, so hopefully Crash can get in as the last DLC then. Crash for Smash. Oh gosh, Pandicute gets in. Um, also predicting some brand new Amiibo. A, a big Nintendo game like during the the Nintendo Direct of last year of September 2018, we got Luigi's Mansion 3 and Animal Crossing. And the big game that, that was announced during February of 2019 was Super Mario Maker 2, which is out. Um, Rest in peace, I can So, and then 2019's E3, the big game that was revealed was the sequel to Legends of the Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm excited. Like, it starts in, like, a few seconds, so. Oh. So, that's pretty much my predictions. Um, I feel like there's some more, but, nah. Maybe SNES Online, the big game, DLC for any other games, Amiibo. <sighs> Hopefully we can get that during this this Nintendo Direct of September 4, 2019. <sighs> it's recording. Audio's good. It's starting! It's starting! Oh my gosh, it's starting! It's starting! It's starting! It's starting! It's starting! <gasps> A new intro! Look at that! Nintendo Direct! Oh, I love this new intro so much! Oh, this must be the big game. Fortnite Season 10, isn't it? Oh, it's just Overwatch! We all knew this was coming, um... They accidentally revealed that Overwatch is coming to the Switch. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Um, um I said, uh, shoot. Um, we all knew Overwatch was coming, so... Not surprised. Okay. We all knew Overwatch was coming, because they accidentally released a Nintendo Switch case for Overwatch, so... I'm not really surprised that they show Overwatch, um... We all knew this was happening. Overwatch. We all knew Overwatch was happening, so I'm not surprised. Because they actually really a Nintendo Switch case. And look, it's happening. Overwatch has come to the Switch. I just hope Tracer doesn't get into Smash. October, um, October 15th, that's cool. You know what, we'll put it in front of you guys so you can hear it. Hello, everyone. I love this music. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. We all know that was coming. Like, I actually have a Blizzard character that's an amiibo, um, which is the Luke Goblin right there. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay. I wish I had come here. Okay, here's some Luigi's Mansion 3. It's coming on Halloween, and my friend Juan is that actually his birthday. Where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I 
mean a pyramid inside a hotel? I like that. Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, Whoa. and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant. I was you a little late in that. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses. A ghost shark. For you. Well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all-new attraction, Scream Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. Like that's I said, that's, that's Juan's Halloween. birthday. Um, Juan's not is also Luigi lead him. Get a load <gasps> of the new free-to-start Kirby game. The combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby. Oh! Oh, it's just Kirby Bowery on the Switch We're now. That's cool. Kirby Clash. Oh, Super Kirby Clash. Take um. quest in town. And collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. It's basically like Kirby Bowery right. out too. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless. Oh yeah, I forgot Switch Lite has a teal color. Online. Time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches oh, later today. Okay. Today. And remember, it's free to start too. All right. I like this, this new. This long-awaited, yeah. recently released RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD I've never remake heard of, of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn I'm wearing special moves sure. and spells. Step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Okay. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved April world 24, of of 2020. April 24. Mercury Deluxe will be three years old then. Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. As an insurance investigator cool. for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You oh my gosh. Exactly what I give you. Explore the ship. Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such um, an end? So, I, I should get back to what I was saying about Luigi's Mansion 3. Um... So like I at, at E3 I kind of wish they just revealed the launch date there like I know they released really it like earlier like, then when they revealed it like like they said like they should then when it came out which was October 31st but I know they show in this direct but and actually earlier but yeah. there's a small town out there with a big scene yeah, at least we know when it's coming out October 31st never um, leave town. That is the rule agreed else? upon um, by the people of this peaceful town. Yeah, like I said, Juan slash Luigi leave out that's his birthday, which is One October thirty first. There suddenly All appeared right. a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face Axe. it. I bet he has an axe then. The only weapons he'll need are ideas. Oh. 
Never mind then. But to win one of these battles, I just you I didn't know wasn't supposed to, that acting wasn't supposed to be a joke. Is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Okay. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Oh my gosh. Little Town Hero will make oh a stand my on gosh. Nintendo Switch October 16th. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. <gasps> oh my gosh, Banjo! Banjo! Finally, some gameplay. Or mo. Or mo. More anyway. Win. Oh, win. And the release date is today. After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Today. Oh my gosh! Today! Oh! 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 To tide yourself over until the release. He's joining later today! Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! The fourth first pass DLC! It's an SNK character, but who? Who? Oh, we're going back to where it all started. Which SNK character is it? What the? It's an SNK character, but who? Who is this? Oh, okay, it is an SNK character, but who? Who? 2019, you are invited to Smash. Who is this? Okay. Don't be late. Ass. Okay. Yep, it's... I don't know who... Who is this? Ha! <laughs> He's struggling to get it. Probably another Street Fighter character. No, it's not, because Street Fighter's fault is owned by Capcom. Ugh, I can tell they're struggling to get it. Everyone wants his invitation. Who will get it? Ah! <laughs> they all want it! Which SNK character will it be? An SNK character, but who? It will be an SNK character. Okay, who is this? I don't even know who you are. Terry? I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. Oh! Oh, wait. I think I know who this is. Uh, I saw uh, November. Okay. Like, I remember who this is. Um, I forgot his name, but, um, like, Terry, um, like, Terry, at least we know who it is. The fifth one is still yet to be revealed. Fatal Fury is joining the battle. Let's see who all the DLC characters so far. Piranha Plant, Joker, Hero, Banshee and Kazooie, Terry, and one last character to be revealed. He is the blue. Oh, he's the blue. What? No way! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Even more! The battle isn't over yet. <laughs> Crash still has more one, than one chance. Even more. Nintendo, you're 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 gonna give me a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Even more. There's more than six. Oh, oh. Okay, here's Link's Awakening. Even more. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm having a heart attack. <sighs> even more than one. There's, I thought there was one more, but there's even more. Crash still has one more chance. Uh, 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 
best of Oh my gosh. With the all oh my gosh. You can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own Oh my gosh, even more than one. There's more than one more. Even more it's no development. Legend of Zelda I got turned off. Um I'm so I'm sorry about that. Um my friends are trying to call. I'm having a heart attack. Oh, there's more than one. Thanks for waking me. We all know it's coming September 20th with the brand new amiibo. You know the hero's mark from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We know who he is. Dragon Quest 11X. Oh, oh, come on. Ugh, I'm sorry, guys. Echoes of an elusive age, definitive. Okay, it's more than one. <laughs> Story that allows you to choose between HD and two Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. About the voice shot. Like, like people are trying to call me, but even more than one. We still want more. <laughs> the game launches, free oh, I'm gonna tell my mom right after this. Like, I know she may not be. Oh, they have costumes. Okay. I know she does. She has no idea what this is, but. Oh. Still more than one. Okay. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm having a heart attack. I need to calm down. I think that calmed me down. More than one. Okay, I had to say that one more time. Fire Emblem Battle Royale? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um... The world of the Fire Emblem oh, it's a deluxe version. Crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. <sighs> wow. The story takes place in modern-day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant, uh, it's materialized into something called Performa. Still even more. Oh, my gosh. Wicked mirages who suck it out of people. Oh. Uh, You'll face off against this oh, calm down, Mason. Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make him join Smash. In Smash, nah, that's not gonna happen. Like and Sita will oh, cool. A different dimension, that's cool. Could that be a Krom costume? It'd be cool. Banjo's coming out today. Terry's joined the battle. He knew it was an SNK and character. Um, and even more DLC's coming out. I was not expecting even more than one more. Furry Pack 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You're still even... Yeah, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp okay. Baby Encore releases on January I'll be right 17th. Back. You can pre even more than one, guys. Today. <laughs> Welcome back to where Wait, nothing who? is what it seems. Boston, 2019. It all begins <laughs> again. I'm when sorry. The FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation <sighs> to the old serial killer's face. <sighs> she also opens the focus. door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans, mm. 14 years ago. Excuse me. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of FBI, York. open up! The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Nintendo killed me. Nintendo killed me. Deadly premonition if only Etika was here to see this. If only Etika saw the chance that, that everything and was happening. It, it doesn't feel like it's the fall right now. Like, it still feels like it's summer and fall actually starts, like, on the 20th or something, but... Still, if only Etika was here to see this. If Etika saw this, he would go nuts. It's finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Crash still has one more chance. Ha more than one, actually. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. At least we know that he will be the blue. There's a presentation right after this, so... Or at least after the Nintendo Direct, but... I gotta watch this. At least we know that Terry is joining the battle. So, so he won't be a waste of spot anymore. No one is a waste of spot anymore now that there's even more characters joining the battle. <sighs> calm down, Mason, calm down. Okay. I don't know what this game is. I'm sorry. Um. Oh, Divinity 2. Um. 
screaming adventure today. Okay. Eh. Badger's coming later today. And now for a I'm glad I'm wearing the shirt. I'm wearing the shirt for something good. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most oh, really? first-person shooter franchises ever. Doom is 20... Oh, I thought they were talking about the N64, but Doom is 25 years old. Doom 64. Doom 64 is coming to the Switch. That's cool. Imagine if it was a remastered on the Switch. That'd be cool. Nah, I don't think that, that'll happen, but... Crash, though. Or, I mean, not Crash, but even more DLC, though. I'm sorry if I'm talking about it too much, but... Oh, my gosh. There's still even more coming out. So there is more than, than one Fighter's Pass. There's still more than one. November 22nd this year. Wait, uh, from is this High Res Studios Rogue Company? To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best. Oh, I thought it was like, I thought it was like, um, uh, what was it? What was I thinking of? Which will require your I can't think of. And tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. I think there's at least gonna be five more deals here. Ten. Well, I don't even know what to do. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons. Wait a minute, um, have I seen this before? Um, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, and just coming later today. And more. Of course, I'll do Your gameplay. Don't worry. I think they're actually gonna try to, to make the, the rectangle perfect now. How's it going? Going good. Pokemon Sword and Shield. In the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword Here we go. Pokemon Shield. Or at least I or at least I saw this coming. Um because it obviously says Pokemon Sword and Shield's coming out. Please take a look. <sighs> Are you sure even more time? <laughs> okay. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Not Pokemon every Pokemon's look coming back. A prosperous future. Among them. You'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Guy TV. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Cool, four. First, customizing your look. Oh, that's nice. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, Finally. it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and Imagine gloves. a Smash Bros. shirt in this game. <laughs> Oh, I saw that. You can change your hairstyle. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part, too, don't you think? Exactly. Second, Pokemon Camp. Oh. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Yep. Third, curry on rice. Ooh. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Delicious. Curry on rice. Imagine FBE did How try not to eat Nintendo food, out, and this has and to be one of them. Ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And what is that? We'll introduce some new Pokemon okay, here we go. discovered in the gallery. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tables oh, and that's cute. In restaurants. Its body is made of tea. That is cute. Complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special called Weak Armor. Next, we 
another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water type Pokemon has flying a huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive cool. new ability, Gulp Missile. Yeah. And that's all we have to share with you today. Aww. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. Alright, what's next? Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure. What should we do while we wait? So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. <laughs> With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. Trash! And Trash! Now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment Wee, System Nintendo I'm Switch so Online. Excited. With this, you can play That's a variety so cool. of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. There are some you may not expect, like Stunt Race FX, which what will be this? available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, hey, or even play that's together so cool. online. Uh, you know I'm being dramatic, oh, right? And the rewind function will be available from launch. A what? Here are the first games we plan to release. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Cool. Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. Wait, where's N64? This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? Oh, cool. To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller. They're trying to make it good. Offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. That's cool. This Super NES-style controller will be available I for purchase exclusively to I mean, Nintendo obvious, Switch it looks Online like. members. Visit of course, the Nintendo it, website for the latest controller. information on its release. Smash DLC, though. <laughs> Imagine they revealed the fifth one well, in this direct. That'd be cool. Some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh, cool. A 2.0, that's cool. Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris cool. 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. I didn't, there was the first one? Mode, I didn't know there was another one. Actually, I, I actually never played Tetris 99, so... Get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your so I, I did not even know there was paid DLC for this game, to be honest. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A packaged version including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available for Well, I'm calling my mom. Nah, nah. Mario and Sonic are ready to keep Yep, I, I heard about Tokyo. this. Um, like, Mario I know Sonic about Mario and Sonic. I knew they were having, like, a... Uh, this time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100-meter like, uh, karate. Yeah, 8-bit. Football, or was it 6 I can't remember. Oh. Rugby 7s, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Hmm. Check out these 10 retro-style events. We knew this was happening. Sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. <laughs> That's On funny. Top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, 
and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. 1964? Mario at the Olympic Games Tokyo 1960? 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. That's cool. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Another one? Ahead of the full when is this game going to release? Week, the free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. I had a cool. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And... All of your progress can carry over to the full game. Nice. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. Cool. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Ooh. Demon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. Oh, September 13th. The Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for Oh, war. wait. Kyle Katarn. I'll be honest, I hate Republic Star Wars, to be honest. To stop a rogue Jedi. I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars, so... At the ready. Yeah. Blaster in hand. I, I, I already paid for this online membership. It's, it's been used. Band is coming later today, though, so that's good. That's cool. I'm, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars, so that doesn't really interest me. Oh. Oh, yeah, Witcher 3. Like, this one game of the year, like, for 2016 or something? I don't remember when this released, but... I remember that um has come to that it one game of the year I think. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. October 15th. All downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. That's cool. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into Ultimate Hunter. December 6th. Like when Smash Bros Ultimate turns one year old. One year old. One great value. Banjo because they are going to ruin the perfect rectangle. Like touch control and motion aiming, coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed: The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills. Crafting, I knew Terry was coming because it had to be an SNK and character. And team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Eh. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. My Nintendo calendar is right there. Oh, they're doing a montage just like at E3 2019. Just Dance 2020. I think this might be the final Just Dance. I mean, I mean for the Wii anyway. And maybe we you now. There's still it might it will be the final Wii game. Oh sorry. <laughs> Wait, there's a twentieth one? Eh, I'm not a huge fan of basketball. I'm not into sports or anything. A lot of people are saying that I should join sports and like I'm my classmates at school anyway. Oh, Devil May Cry too. That comes out on my sister's birthday. Um, tip, um, September. I'm not gonna say the rest of the day. Um, she'll be 21. Um, my sister. If, if my sister's watching this, no why? I don't know. You can get the drill. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing: New Horizons. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? I remember when when the speaker was talking. I thought it was a new F Zero. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom Nook. Hi, Tom Nook. Okay. Yep. Oh, thanks.
Island life. Island life. <laughs> they clap like this. Thank you for choosing the deserted island getaway package. A laid back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. Aww. For you and the other Now I feel bad for Etika. Getaway package. The time Rest in peace. To get into the groove of deserted Hi -ya. island life. It bring, may be bring a deserted some, island, uh, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. Timmy and Tommy. Starters, we'll I have the amoeba. A tent. Ten. Please where select you the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Okay, I gotta go. Let's start the start phone. by crafting an axe. Uh, I'm just, We're going I'm just to need I, some materials. I'm just being weird now. Like branches. It's just a phone case. I might get it download to my new phone. A tree branch. And stones. You can pick up stone. Oh, way back at E3. Branch. I should have known. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. That is cool. Ooh. So that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as oh. part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency bells, you can also earn Ma nook miles through the Nook Mileage program. That's cool. You can exchange what that your is. miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing. Let's go fishing. Catch some bugs. Tend to flowers. Go, go, fishy. And pick them to make a garland. That's cute. <gasps> That's cute! <laughs> Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. Really? How the fire on? It was rainy in the game, and the fire was on. That makes no sense. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. Aww. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall. No way we get the rush. Wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, <gasps> you can travel to another place. Eight player Smash. For a total of eight players in one village. There's the classic villager from from Smash. The whole scene the male and the female. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? How's Deserted Island like looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. We all knew it was coming March 20th, thanks to E3. It was originally going to come out this year, but then it got delayed next year. So, how'd it look? Look cool. 
there's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. Still got some time left in this Nintendo right. Direct. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Alright. Please give it a look. I hope it's a new game that, like, a big game. I don't know what this is. Oh, a, Xen a Xenoblade Chronicles remake. That's cool. Do you wish to change it? Huh? So it must be a, a Xenoblade Chronicles remake. The future. Gameplay Chronicles remake. That's cool. That's cool. A, technically, like a Gameplay Chronicles Definitive Edition. That's cool. I'm not a huge fan of Xenoblade, but I mean, I used to mean Shulken Smash 4 until DLC came out. 2020. That's cool. I guess this is considered to be the big game. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for the watching. Magic and oh, yes. Oh, so it is beginning shortly. Three, two, one. After this. Stay tuned for a video from Mr. Sakurai. Okay, right now. Okay, here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. All right. You I was not expecting like it. Time has passed since our hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. Oh, really? We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Yeah, and he, the last time he said that the budget, we didn't have much of a budget, that was not a joke. You may remember in the hero showcase, I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shields. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Oh, okay. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. <laughs> even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. Oh, so it's like a computer. I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie. The two characters acting as Mr. Sakurai is a legend controlling two characters at once. He's a legend. What is Banjo Kazooie? An N64 character well, that, that would add to Smash Sync to popular to to demand in the West. First released on Nintendo 64. Yep, they actually originated from Diddy Kong Racing. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in yep. a game called Diddy Kong Racing. And and his last game was Banjo Kazooie Nets and Bolt, and now he's back. And then Banjo Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. Eh. And then there's Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, about the last Banjo Kazooie. Mr. Sakurai and now said Xbox. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Yep. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash okay. series. Okay. Okay. That, Ridley was too big, King K. Rool was too irrelevant, and Banjo Kazooie were, were too impossible, and they're all in. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. Okay, the original game's on the Xbox, that's cool. They're laughing. Now, let's talk about the music. 
The Banjo Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. Alright. include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle. So we put a lot the music has been remixed. Okay. That's cool. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. We'll take some lessons. Up here. Yes, here. Oh, okay. You'll see the track names. Okay, let's take a look at the fighter. Alright. As part of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo Kazooie, join the battle. Ah! Make things. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. Okay. We've included lots of actions Banjo Kazooie used in their original game. A bunch of the music I've been doing. The talent trot here is used for their dash. Alright. And their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Okay. I hear the controller. Their neutral attack is called Claw Swipes. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Alright. Their flurry attack is a Oh, okay, they have a flurry attack. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This Donkey Kong Echo Fighter! No, I'm kidding. Their down tilt is beat bar. Wait, is it me or is it spinning? It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Wait, is it different? Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. I'm kidding, I, I, I know nothing about Banjo and Kazooie, so, except the character name, and the, and the villains, and Mumbo Jumbo, and their Grunty back there. Like, the only reason why I was upset about Banjo joining the game was because he was highly requested and then wouldn't be surprised, but I'm over that now. I'm actually, I'm actually happy that Banjo's a character, because people can shut up about it now. Go! Go! I was gonna make a video where I was gonna showcase what their victory themes are. Ooh, one was that one. I was originally was gonna make a video where what could Banjo Kazooie's um um victory screen to be, but now that this is out, it looks like it won't happen. Like go go go. I'm making banjo noises. Is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto <laughs> but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually increase, so you'll need to be careful. All right. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield buttons. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. <gasps> oh yeah, that was in the direct. As in the original game, it's an invincible charging attack. It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. Alright. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just used up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Uh oh. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. I saw that. Since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages, but it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. Ooh. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this I got a good brain. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. Plongo. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring Pad. Right. It can be used to recover, and it's throwable too. 
Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. Why? That's so if you're falling, you can use it like this, jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. That, that's, pr that's not fair. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Oh, look at Banjo's skin. A pink one. Next, for their down special, Rear Egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. And because the grenade egg is football shaped, its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. After a certain time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Will it hurt you? Your opponents can also throw it back at you. That's not what I meant. But it's detonation sequence. Okay, it will. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. <laughs> is there Sakurai? You're smart. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. Ginger! The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. Oh! This move will send your opponents flying. Spiral Mountain, that's the stage. The music! in Japan, but in the West, it's called Spiral Mountain. It was very... That, why do you think Banjo was in Smash? Because he was highly requested in in the West. A rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also There's change. There's Mumbo. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gluntilda's lair is visible. Now that we've covered both the fighter and Legal. the stage, Let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. Alright. Let's see him in action. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. Oh, it makes sense. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Oh, hang on, so there are actually oh, two on my side. Oh, see that? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. Wish I wish you luck. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. Oh, they shielded. Good use of these as we take them on. No, we're playing with items on. Who plays with items? I think we're doing pretty good. So I only play with the Smash Ball. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. Oh, they have the, the Smash meter on, and remember, it has a time limit. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I wish you luck. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh. Auto fire, auto fire. Uh oh. Don't go in small smash. Get them out of here. Smash meters filled up. You can have that. Remember, it has a time limit. Now. And. Oh! Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. Oh, they have lives. Smash meter and smash ball. That's smash, my rules. But it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. Oh, you got it. And final smash. 
Okay, I let's hear their not, victory so theme. Banjo picks up the jiggy from the original game. <laughs> he had a go. That's a wrap. All right, DLC costumes and oh, cameos. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. Or Grunty. In Banjo Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Brentilda. His fate is sealed in the beginning of the He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. I know who he is. This poor soul had all of his mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. I think I see her. tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail, even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. <laughs> and after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. All right. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo Kazooie. Oh, at the end, we get a game over. And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. Yeah, what is that? These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs. But since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Mm. This is what the Buzz cut or Buzz Bomb confirmed. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought Looks into like the guest characters spiral. as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard-to-see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. We were tiring them. Song selection or collection. Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. Oh! I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I thought you were going to make the price bigger. Like, how could you? The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. Oh, that's cool. So he's helping out. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. Oh, really? I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Jiggy's our new tracks, okay. 5.0! Oh, come on! Enough with the chats. Okay. I'm sorry, um, these chats are coming too much, um. Oh, wait. There we go. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. Alright. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. Aww. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. Mystery Mode 2, all freak out. And here it is. Oh, Home Run Contest is coming back. That's cool. Home Run Contest is coming back. This bag. Not with this, but this bag. And off it goes. 
Looks like Homer Unconscious is coming back. Maybe a little too high. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. That's cool. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contests, so please enjoy. This time, Sandbag has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. Uh, <laughs> I hope this isn't the final one. Like, he said it might be. Like, it'd be cool if it's not, but no Let's give it a go. Oh, give me two players. Keep attacking using both players. Oh, of oh, course, sounds different. Yeah. Time to strike. Here we go. No. <laughs> this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. Players can take part. I mean, friends can play together. All right. Not one person playing as two fighters. <laughs> I hope you play this with your friends. Yeah. Download me. Move. Co in shared content, many people have uploaded their customized meat fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. You can now. forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. If you find a meat fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. Mm -hmm. However, this will not be applied to meat fighters created before this software update, and only applies to meat fighters created after this update. Right. So I hope you re-upload your meat fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of meat fighters. We will add in some meat fighter costumes as well. Let's go. Please take a look. Meat fighters. Bonus meat fighter costumes. Round three. Three. Who's that? Oh, must be some games from Capcom. Huh? I have no idea who. I don't play this game, so I don't know who this is. So. All right, Mega Man. Pro Man's back as a costume. Must not gain that much permission for. For DLC costumes. Zero must be back too. Alright. Just looking for some. Microsoft. Pokemon. Team Rocket. Oh my god. Sans is deconfirmed, and thank God, a new remix is included. Oh my gosh, that is awesome! That Sans is not going to be a character. That's hilarious! Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is hilarious! Sans is deconfirmed. A new remix is included with the costume. That is <laughs> that is the most hilarious thing I've seen. A Sans me fighter costume. <laughs> Alright, of all the Mii Fire costumes, I have to get the sand one. I need that new remix. We've added a costume for Sands from Undertale. Deconfirmed. And this Sands outfit also comes with a music track. This money. listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself. Oh my gosh, a Sans costume! Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. He was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. Wow. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Oh, Snake, Squirrel, and Ivysaur, right? Squirtle. Yep. Ivysaur. And Snake. Their amiibo, I actually pre-ordered their amiibo. Like, I pre-ordered the, the Snake one and, snake. Sn and the um, Ivysaur amiibo at, um, so they will each be available at Amazon and the Squirrel one I had to pre-order from... 
um, the game stop. Wait, spirits? Will there be spirits? Oh, I thought it was for them. Oh, yeah! Um, Terry. That was revealed at the director earlier. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. Uh. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Okay, just, just a little bit, though. That must be a stage. That's cool. Finally, it was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. Yep, you gave me a heart attack. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. You may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Yeah, when is Sakura gonna get a break? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. Crash has to be one of them. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. You're making the world happy. At the same time, he needs I feel vacation. That Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Brothers series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I wonder if Sakurai is ever going to get a break. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. What about spirits, though? That's awesome. If we got another character reveal, that would have been cool, but nah, we don't need more. That was awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. Oh my gosh. Even more DLC is coming. There's no way there's going to be another one after this one. Wow. Time to make another prediction list. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Sakurai. Even more is coming out. I'm having a heart attack. Banjo's coming later tonight. And I'm going to play as them. I'll release gameplay. I'll release everything for you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. M Mr. Sakurai, if you're watching this, I need you to take a break. You need a vacation. Like, a, like, an, like, like a 10-year vacation. Like, you, he needs a vacation. Oh, my gosh. Even more DLCs coming. It's more than six. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, Mr. Sakurai needs a vacation. Goodbye. Grip out of the cup.